cartoon monster's presence. Wednesday, are you all right, my dear? Yes, mother. Oh, my sweet black rose, what's the matter? Hmm? Is everything going well at school? Other than having to suffer through my annoying classmates and teachers near constant incompetence? Not really. You know, if you're unhappy at Normie School, we could always have you attend Nevermore. It's a special academy for outcasts just like you. You know, your father and I- I'm not you, mother. I will never be you. I don't want to be the captain of multiple clubs or queen of the school dance. I don't want to live your life or be any part of your legacy. Oh, Wednesday. What are we ever going to do with you? From that point on, Wednesday decided to take matters into her own hands. She wasn't going to be bullied anymore. She was going to become the bully. She was going to use her impressive weapon knowledge and obsession with the macabre to get her revenge on all the other students that tormented her. No one was safe from her wrath. If she was going to be miserable, then everyone was going to go down with her. Even the staff. It got so bad, in fact, that the principal finally had to take a more drastic option. Wednesday's getting expelled? Surely we can come to some other solution. I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Adams. I don't have a choice. Wednesday is no longer just a nuisance anymore. She's a detriment to the rest of the students and faculty here at Normie School High. Please, we urge you to reconsider. We understand that Wednesday can be a bit, well, eccentric. But she's a good kid at heart. Isn't that right, my little storm cloud? I'll enjoy watching your suffering most of all. Get out. Now! Unfortunately, Wednesday's attitude never changed. She was dead set on being the biggest troublemaker possible. School after school, principal after principal, the story stayed the same. More problems, more torture. All right, Wednesday.